Hi, I'm Dave Mueller, Engineering Manager of the Xerox latest 800-1000 color press. I'd like to take you through a quick look at the technology and innovation inside the machine. There are five new technologies under the hood and they are new belt roll fuser, long life photoreceptor, clear EA dry ink, inline belt cooling, and seamless intermediate belt transfer system. The EA dry ink is a transparent toner made from our new low melt EA emulsion aggregated toner. It adds visual effects in a variety of artistic and digital effects. Now let's take a look inside the machine. Here you can see the machine running. You can see now we've added a fifth toner station. This fifth toner station holds our new clear toner. Here you can see the clear toner in its location. With the clear toner you can add highlights to your images and bring out punch and pizzazz by using clear ink on glasses or areas that you want to bring attention to for your customers. Now we'll talk about the long life photoreceptor. The photoreceptor is a light sensitive drum used to transfer the image to the paper. This new technology provides a protective coating over the drum which causes the drum to last twice as long. The new technology allows us to run up to 800,000 impressions. As you can see here, we show the blue photoreceptor in operation. The laser discharges the drum so an image can be created and then deposited onto the intermediate belt transfer. This image is then moved on for imaging onto the paper. The seamless intermediate belt transfer system. It's a new design and the belt is 1.4 times longer in order to add the fifth station for clear toner. Here in this video you can see the belt shown in white passing under the photoreceptor where the image is placed. The advantage of the seamless belt is it allows the image to be placed anywhere on the belt as it circulates versus belts previously they had a seam where the images had to be placed down such that it did not overlap the seam causing image quality defects. The next technology we'll talk about is a new belt roll fuser. The belt roll fuser has heated rollers that in turn heats the fuser belt to melt, the, melt and fuse the toner onto the paper. This new technology lasts twice as long as our previous technologies used for fusing in our other xerographic products. The heat is transferred more efficiently to the belt and allows for better and more uniform images especially in the area of gloss. This new technology also delivers stable image quality as well as extended service life of the overall module. As you can see from this image, as the paper passes under the fuser, it heats up and melts the toner into the paper. What's the advantage of this is that as the paper gets heavier, more energy is added to the fuser to fuse at a constant speed for all substrates as it passes through the fuser. Lightweight papers will require less energy and heavier papers will require more while maintaining a constant 100 pages per minute through the machine. Inline belt cooling. Printing at high speed means little time for paper to cool and resulting high temperatures can cause paper to stick to the finishing devices. To solve this problem, we lower the temperature of the paper as it passes through the cooling belts. The inline belt cooling, this new technology has been introduced to address the high temperatures of the paper post fusing. Here we can see the cooling module. As paper passes through the cooling module, the heat is transferred by the belt into the aluminum cooling assembly above. You can see by the red heat indicating the heat is flowing into the cooling where air will carry off the excess heat out of the system. I hope this has given you a glimpse of the five technologies inside our latest digital color press. Thank you for listening. If you want to learn more about the Xerox 800-1000 color presses or Xerox innovation, please visit www.xerox.com. This podcast was recorded on April 9, 2010. At the time of the recording, all information was factually accurate. Because this will reside on the internet for a period of time, Xerox assumes no duty to update the podcast to reflect new information. Please visit www.xerox.com newsroom for updated information. Thank you.